Hello, my Nakamotachi. This is Joy Girl coming to you from my studio floor. The reason why that is is because I have COVID, but I'm fine. No need to be concerned. I am largely asymptomatic. I have bit of a headache. I get quite a bad headache now and then and I had a bit of a runny nose which is largely gone. I thought my throat felt a little itchy at times but that's largely gone as well. So I'm fine. I'm staying strong. I'm staying hydrated, staying nice and healthy and I've really been enjoying reading all of your comments. That's been really uplifting and encouraging for me. I'm really glad that you're enjoying the skits and the shorts because I've really been enjoying making them and I can't wait to continue doing that for you guys and please keep the love. Please keep the support coming because I really, really do appreciate it. But yes, I have COVID, which does mean that I'm in isolation. And what I've been doing is I've been trying to reorganize my studio and I've been moving things around, which is why I'm on the floor. Because as I was moving things around, I had a, I was thinking about One Piece. I was thinking about what to expect in 2022. Obviously, it seems like One is going to end this year. And that got me thinking about a few things. And that got us to here because I wanted to record some of my thoughts whilst I still had them fresh. Started to record an impromptu video. But I don't have my desk in here I don't have my proper mic set up which is why we're doing this. So what I was thinking about was the end of Wano because I really do think we're quite close now. I'm thinking maybe 15-20 chapters. It'll be, we'll be done with Wano in the next 15-20 chapters I think. Definitely this year and as I was thinking about it I was thinking about Oda's message from Jump Festa. For those of you who aren't familiar with Oda's Jump Festa message he said a bunch of things like how he's excited for Film Red, how he's excited for the live action cast but the part that I was really thinking about was his message about the end of Wano and he said watch out for Luffy, pay attention to Luffy and that also he is really excited to draw that last panel of Wano. And so that got me to thinking about what that panel must be, especially because of what we know about Oda's favorite panels. Oda has released in the past his top three favorite panels. One of them was, was a campfire scene in, in Skypiea, which has also resurfaced in the fan base as well because of Luffy's silhouette and his likeness to Sun God Nika, what we saw of Sun God Nika in recent Wano arc. And the second favourite was the Sabori Archipelago arc. Robin rubs off a bit of the mangrove sap onto, onto Usopp because it provides a bit of realism into the story. And then his favourite is actually the opening of Wano Kuni, which makes sense as a Japanese mangaka, Oda's been wanting to wanting to represent Japan in the series for a long time now, wanting to draw all the cool things like samurais, ninjas, and you know, Wano's it, that's it. And you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful panel. And then reading his message in Jump Festa that he cannot wait, he is positively shaking from excitement to draw that last panel, really got me thinking about what this last panel could be. And when I first started thinking about it, I was thinking, maybe along the lines of maybe it's a massive feast. The massive feast that we've all been waiting for for so long now and how much more meaningful it would be as well because of you know the tragedy in Wano, how poverty stricken everyone is, how they don't have access to food, clean water, clean food. The scale of this feast is just going to be massive so I was thinking maybe that is what Oda's excited for but then I thought that that wasn't likely to be the last panel. Another idea for a panel I had was the panel that I've been talking about personally for a while now, which again, I think is unlikely to be the last panel of Wano, but it is probably going to be one of the final panels of the raid of the war, which is Luffy defeating Kaido. And as Kaido is defeated, we're going to see the sunrise with Luffy. Because I've said this for a while now, but I really do envision that final panel of the war going to be Luffy defeating Kaido as the sun rises, so him symbolically bringing about the dawn, which will follow a similar theme to what we've had in other big arcs like Crocodile, for example, in Alabasta being exposed, Doflamingo being you know, catapulted down from his throne. And here, the idea of the dawn, the new dawn, and we're actually going to see the new light being born with Luffy. So I am really excited for that panel. But again, I don't think that that will be the final panel of Wano. So unless Oda is being very loose with his term of the last panel, I don't think that the feast nor the dawn with Luffy are going to be the panels that he's envisioning. Although, I'm sure they will both be epic moments and epic panels in their own right. But that final panel that Oda's excited about, what could that be? Thinking more about, you know, how Wano is actually going to end, where, where the story is going to go from here. And then that also got me thinking about Oda's 
additional comment about paying attention to Luffy, which in some ways makes sense because he's our main character. I think we're always paying attention to Luffy, but then also, you know, you can never really be sure with Oda. Is that a cryptic message? In either case, what are we expecting from Luffy following this arc? He will have defeated a Yonko. He will have brought about the new dawn. He will be heralding in this new era. He'll be starting this new age. And then with everything else going on at Wano right now, with the impending arrival of the world government, with the idea that we're going to find out more about the lore of One Piece, especially the idea of Joy Boy, and then the fact that we're also going to get Kylo's backstory soon. So then when I was thinking about all of these and how to piece all of these different developments together, something that got me thinking was, seeing as it's most likely that Kylo is going to get fleshed out more as a character. We're going to find out more about his deeper motivation so that he's not just a superficial evil bad guy. And then a huge part of Luffy's victory over Kaido is also going to be ideological. And based off comments that Kaido has made about Luffy in the past, about Joy Boy in the past, that Luffy couldn't be Joy Boy either. Maybe the final panel could actually be Kaido looking at Luffy and seeing Joy Boy. Similar to that panel from Skypiea where we see the likeness between Luffy and Sun God Nika. Maybe it doesn't even have to be Kaido. Maybe it could be the Scabbards, maybe it could be the rest of the Wano. Whoever knows about this prophecy, whoever knows about these, about these legends is going to witness Luffy and see a legend. Because I think that that sort of panel could fit in quite nicely with Oda's current favorite panels. The idea of the campfire, of everyone celebrating, the opening of Wano Kuni. We could have sort of a mishmash of that with Luffy again resembling Joy Boy and everyone at the feast recognizing Luffy for Joy Boy or even Kaido recognizing Luffy as Joy Boy. Anyways, that's where my head was at but I am really interested in hearing what you guys think would be this final panel that Oda's really excited to draw because how hype is that? The ending of Wano is so anticipated already because of how long the arc has been. But the fact that Oda is saying that he cannot wait to draw this moment, you know, him saying, I hope I can draw this well, really has me wondering what, what panel is this going to be? So let me know in the comments below what you guys think this panel is or what you guys would like to see at the end of Wano. Make sure to like and share the video. Please do subscribe because I am going to be in isolation for a little bit longer and I would love to continue coming out with great content for you guys. You can also join our Joyfleet Discord server, become a Patreon member. I thank all of my Patreon members. I appreciate you guys so, so immensely. And also because I'm bored and because it's a new year, I thought I'd like to reintroduce myself because yes, I am Joy Girl, but would you believe that Joy Girl wasn't the name that my parents assigned to me at birth? I'd like to set a challenge for you guys and ask you guys to also leave a comment below on what you think my real name is. But anyways, that's it from me for now. Let me go back to reorganizing this room. Make sure to let me know your thoughts about Oda's panel in the comments below. Make sure to let me know what you think my real name is in the comments below. Make sure to like and share the video, subscribe, Joyfleet, Patreon, all that jazz. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys again soon.